Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to uh, the HBR Chronicles. Chronicles. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. The relationship joy. HBR Chronicles <laughs> with, with Shakorn Smith. I'm film director Amani Shakorn. This is uh, Smith. <laughs> I'm, hand, I'm, I'm I look pretty good, but I don't look as good as Rachel, so you right. should not. Be. Exactly. I should not confuse <laughs> the two, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm a filmmaker from Trinidad and Tobago, man. I've always had a love for history and politics and all this stuff. And Chris here is a uh, veteran, the Army Reserves. Army Reserves. Yeah, and uh, he works for the VA to this day. Yep. He's also always had a love for uh, history and politics and the whole nine. So we decided to come up with this cool podcast from a cool perspective, the HPR Chronicles with Jacorn Smith. Uh, I recently went to Spain and we covered Spain and I, co- I covered the history last week. So this week, uh, Crispy agreed to do Catalonia, mm-hmm. which is what the people of Barcelona uh, prefers to be called. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on social media. Thank you all of our listeners on YouTube. Again, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. I-S-E-N-T Group Digital is the channel on YouTube. Thank you, uh, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Buzzsprout, Stitcher, all the cell phone apps, all of our listeners. Thanks for checking in with us on Wednesdays. Uh, Yeah. And we're going to get into it. Uh, Crispy Smith is going to do... Catalonia, and again, if you listen to the episode last week, you heard about Barcelona. It's basically the same place. Well, they have slightly <clears throat> different perspectives on their history. If you're talking about both places, yeah. So Catalonia is, if I was just kind of go into it, is an area that um, Spain occupies. Or, mm-hmm. So the autonomous community of Catalonia occupies a triangular area in the northeast corner of Spain. Yep. It is bordered by France and Andorra, A-N-D-O-R-R-A, to the north, the Mediterranean Sea to the east, the autonomous com- community of Valencia to the south, which is another city in mm-hmm. Spain, um, and the autonomous community of Argon to the west. Catalonia, Catalonia was established by the Statue of a- Autonomy on December 18th, 1979, sorry, December 18, 1979. The governor, government consists of a gen, general, Latat, let, Latat? Yes, yeah, so the word yeah. I was struggling with last general week. General Latat. General Latat, yeah. It, which is an executive council headed by a president. Okay. And a unicameral parliament. Unicameral means a government with one legislative legislative body. Mm-hmm. So just some, you know, have it people understand what these things are. Uh, Catalonia is the richest and most highly industrial part of Spain. Catalonia was formerly a principality of the crown of Aragon, and it was played, and it has played an important role in the history of the Iberian uh, Peninsula. From the 17th century, it was the center of a separatist movement that sometimes dominated Spanish affairs. Sorry for a moment. Um, It was also one of the first Roman possessions in Spain. It was occupied during the 5th century by the Goths. Um, The Goths were were an East Germanic people. It was taken by the Moors in 712, so 712, and the Moors... Uh, refers primarily primarily to the mu- Muslim inhabitants in the area. Moors are not a distinct or self-defined people. The term has no real eth- ethnological value, though. So anyway, uh, so as I said, it was occupied during the 5th century by the Goths. It was taken over by the Moors in 712. And at the end of the 8th century, um, it was taken by Charlemagne, who incorporated into his realm as the Spanish march ruled by which was ruled by a count. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like I was talking about last week, they had all these counts and yeah, queens uh-huh. and, this <laughs> and, that. Catalo- and Yeah, Catalonia has sought um, independence many times over history, with the last time being in December 2017. Um, there are, so, as, you know, as we're just explaining, um, Spain or you know, uh, um, Barcelona, Val- Valencia, and I'm guessing Aragon. It must, if that's still a city out there, yeah. I think so. But those are in, you know, in that particular area of Spain. 
that is Catalonia. So there's some differences within that those that um, particular area mm-hmm. as opposed to the rest of Spain. So like the language, the region has its own language called Catalan, um, which is which is its joint official language with Spanish. So it somehow com- combines the two, I guess. Uh, the teaching of Catalan is mandatory in schools with teachers, doctors, and other uh, public sector workers being legally required to use it. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Catalan is strongly associated with national pride. If you speak to someone in Spanish in Catalon- Catalonia, they might well answer you in Catalan. <laughs> this is spoken in other territories such as Valencia, the Balearic Islands, Andorra, where it is the official language, Sardinia, and areas of France. Hmm. So, like with the history, Catalonia had a distinct history of its own long before it became part of, of Spain. It stretches back to the early Middle, middle Ages when the um, county of Barcelona rose to pre- preeminence in the 11th century. Uh, the, the county was bought or brought under the same rule, royal rule as the neighboring kingdom of Aragon. The region became part of Spain in the 15th century when for Ferdinand of Aragon married Isabel of Castile, uniting the, uniting the two kingdoms, which you brought yeah, up. Yeah, which we brought up, yeah. yeah. Um, there was a resurgence of Catalan, Catalan, Catalan um, identi- identity in the 19th century, and there was a real push to preserve and promote Catalan. The region was given more autonomy under the Republican government of the, of the early 1930s, but when dictator general Francisco uh, Franco came to power at the end of the Spanish Civil War. All autonomy was taken away, and the use of Catalan was prohibited, which I, I'm assuming is the language. So, mm-hmm. um, so there's some different um, traditions. Like the, for Christmas, um, Catalan has a distinct history of its own, long um, a, a distinct history history of its own long before it became part of Spain. Oops, sorry. Um, it stretches back to the early middle um, wait I just said that Uh, now I lost where I'm at okay it stretches back to the early middle ages when the county of Barcelona rose to what did I do wrong it's like I redid it yeah you were talking about yeah yeah right Yeah, you think you were in here the Christmas stuff oh snap it's like it disappeared so okay i'm gonna have to go off of memory with this so they have this weird christmas tradition i can't remember the the name of the figurines Mm -hmm. but it's like little men who are taking a shit yeah or on the toilet pants down like you know and it's a little it's it's funny to see i'm sorry i i'm missing that information because i really man how did i mess that up anyway it is because, and they've even used popular um, world figures like they had. Um, they showed one that had Obama, from mm-hmm. back, you know, and stuff like that. Interesting. Uh, sorry for messing that one up. Anyway, another unusual tradition for our human towers. I don't know if you've ever seen those. Um, it was given the UNESCO World Heritage status in 2010. Um, towns across um, Catalonia hold competitions to see who can make the tallest human tower. The towers usually comprise men, women, and children that are used at the top. Uh, People scramble over each other and balance precariously on each other's shoulders. Oh, wow. Um, And I got to say, if anyone can look at it, just do human, you know, Catalonia human towers or Barcelona human towers. It's crazy. And, you know, the images are. So you've got a big, um, nice base of people. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have. You'll climb up. Yeah. And then like another pretty solid you know like it looked like there was hundreds of people at the very bottom i mean it really uh, did but then it looked like there's tw- you know like 20 some people at this next level and they're on top of people's shoulders wow and then you got a an- and then yeah, it was just you can't stay in a plank for too long no you have to stand so up they're standing up comfortable position yeah. and then the next um level you have um just like three people and then People just get right on your shoulders. So it's another three, another three, another wow. three, another three. And they've gone up, you know, six or seven layers of people. Wow. So I definitely recommend follow, looking follow up. Follow watchers <laughs> on YouTube. I'm going to see if I can post some of the pictures. You cool. know what I mean? 
Uh, the cuisine. While there are plenty of tapas to enjoy in Catalonia, there are, there are certain dishes and drinks that come specific, specifically from the region. Cava is Catalonia's most uh, famous export, and with the sparkling white wine enjoyed throughout Spain and across the world. Um, the region is also famous for its uh, take on the classic paella um, called Fidera, F I D E. U.A., mm -hmm. Fedora, um, which is I usually... I say, when I was there, boy, I had those pa 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 paellas, yeah, like yeah. you said. Yeah, paella. Man, that stuff was amazing. What it is, is like a, for those who don't know, it's like a, it's like a seafood dish with mm -hmm. uh, rice. Yeah. And seafood is very popular yeah. out there, and you can, you can get it all kind of ways, and I, because I'm... Because I'm lazy and I don't believe in like peeling a bunch of food, I want to enjoy my food. Yeah, I actually asked for mine that was already peeled and stuff like that. So they peeled everything for me. So all the seafood on it was already peeled, nice. yeah. and and then they just ended up having like a few uh, crawfish or shrimp or whatever that was that was left over that I had to peel. But it was only like three, and all the other seafood was already you know peeled yeah, and care. stuff. It was, it was amazing, man. And, I, and, I, and you know it's funny. I meant to. Uh, you didn't take yet. pictures of food, did you? I did. Oh. Uh, that's the only one I didn't take a picture of. And I think I did post, post that one. Okay. But it's funny because before I left, I wanted to get some put some paella one more time, and I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? This lady I met, too, this really good-looking girl from Colombia I met, invited me uh, out to get paella one night in one of the most popular places, and I didn't have a chance to go. Mm. I think that night I was in Madrid or something like that. But, yeah, that, that food was actually amazing. Uh, and yeah. so... It, you know, right now he's looking at a uh, image, and you can see that bottom part is just mm -hmm. people. Yeah, and then I'll, there's a I'll post big some group. of these on on for our YouTube. Watches. Actually, and yeah. there's another big group, but then it's like just it's crazy so, that they do this. Yeah. Um, okay, so that um, fidu fidu uh, something like that, which is so you said it was rice, but this is using noodles instead of rice. And, oh, the other dish. Yeah. Okay. And cow cut with c-a-l-c-o-t with there's an accent in there which is a kind of spring onion mm -hmm. there's also the, the classic pa am a-m-b tamaki t-o-m-a-q-u-e-t it's bread with tomato okay so which is uh bread with tomato rubbed on it and drizzle and a drizzle of olive, olive oil over the top and now um and then another thing about that's the difference um, of that area is who you mentioned yesterday, Gaudi. Yeah. So Antoni um, Gaudi, Gaudi yeah. is a Catalan uh, architect who was born in the town of Rius in 1852. His influence is huge in the city of Barcelona. Mm -hmm. You know, there's tons of architecture that, mm -hmm. she, like you mentioned, um, they have their own unique bank holidays. For instance, La Merce, Merce is the celebration of Barcelona. Barcelona's patron saint, Our Lady of Mercy, or La Mar de. This sound, I'm on, I'm sorry. I'm. I took French mm -hmm. in high school, so mm -hmm. I, I tend French. to yeah. talk in French instead of. So if if it's La Marie de 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 la. But see, I'm, I'm again. I'm doing it more like as if it's French. Mercy, but mm -hmm. in Catalan. Another example in Saint Esteve. Which mm -hmm. is celebrated on December 26th, like Boxing Day, which I'm not sure what that is, but only in Catalonia or Catalan-speaking regions such as Valencia and the Balearic uh, Islands. So I hope that made sense. Um, dance and music. Catalan Catalonia has its own music and dance, such as the Sardana, a traditional group. Um, dance performed at popular celebrations and accompanied in music by sp specific type of uh, band known as choral. Uh, the economy in Catalan is a, is in a very different state of affairs compared to the rest of the Spanish economy and has a long time been the industrial powerhouse of the country. From the Industrial Re Revolution onwards, Catalonia specialized in the production and trade of textiles in, in particular. More recently, the region has become a center for communication technologies and even finance, with much of the industries concentrated in Barcelona in particular. Mm. Uh, the politics. There is a long history of tension between the Catalan government and the Spanish federal government. Catalonia has its own judicial system as well as as well as its own civil law. The Catalans also have their own police force. 
Kind of interesting. Uh, bullfighting. Catalonia was the first Spanish mainland province to officially ban bullfighting. The Catalan uh, parliament voted on the ban in 2010, and the law was implemented in 2012. However, the Spanish um, constitutional court over turned the ban in 2015, claiming that it went against the Spanish constitution and that an autonomous pars, uh, province did not have the right to ban bullfighting outright. This has since become another highly contentious aspect of local politics and another point of antagonism with the Spanish federal government. Got it. So that's pretty much where I went with that. And cause since you, cause the reason why I didn't do so much of the, mm-hmm. The history, because that history you talked about with Barcelona meant the same thing for Kelly. Right. So, right. Yeah. I just wanted to show the little differences and stuff. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Because, see, see if, if you look at it, Catalonia, mm. Barcelona is in Catalonia. It's a part of the whole region. God. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I see. but I don't know why Barcelona in particular, and I don't know if it's the same in other cities why they tend to connect more with calling themselves Catal- Catalonians and not because Barcelona is apparently a county in Catalonia, mm-hmm. but the people there still connect with and want to be prefer- referred to themselves as the Cat- Catalonian people, yeah. even though it's Barcelona. But again, that name was a name that was brought to them. Catalonia? Just like, no, uh, Barcelona, Barcelona. Just like the name of certain African regions was like Africa. That wasn't the name. The Romans named it Africa. So I guess mm-hmm. they feel the same way. Like yeah, you this took... name, Barsi, it, you know, it derived, told you all the other names yeah. that it derived from and it turned into to Barcelona. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why the people, you know. I mean, they want to hold on like to their heritage. Yeah, they want to hold on to their heritage. Yeah. You know what Which I mean? I yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a interesting. But, you know, Barcelona and the county of and all that, it, you know, even though it's in Catalonia and they share the same history, it still has a slightly different history in itself, that county mm-hmm. and the wars that took place there and the fights and stuff. And, and when you go, this castle that I went to, they had a little film they showed in this castle and they showed how in wartime all the fighting that had gone on in Barcelona. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's, you know, so there was a lot of stuff that happened in Barcelona and it's really a significant part of, you know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. another thing too, I learned when I was there, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the very first people settled in Barcelona first more than any other place because it was close, it was one of the regions close to the water. Yeah. And so I saw that in in the castle, you know, in that little film they showed in the, in the, uh, in the uh, castle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It it, it was interesting. So anyway, that's why I wanted to kind of separate the topics in two different uh uh podcasts yeah because even though their history is the same there is some differences some distinct differences in 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 what took place in barcelona county and Mm -hmm. what took place in catalonia as a whole you know what i mean yeah i got it yeah so yeah so that that was it that was it I mean, I, I, I'm, okay, we're having some internet issues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I had something. I mean, I could have gone on with some other things, but yeah, would not be able to connect. So, no, that's fine. But I think, um, I th- you know, I hit just some very interesting topics or facts, of course, and uh, I just didn't go over, you know, the detail of all those areas. But yeah, for, like I say, was- for the most part, what you dealt with, which mm-hmm. would have had Catalan or Barcelona, is in that area so it right would have and uh the architect Gaudi. yeah Gaudi. he all his stuff is in barcelona as well yeah you know he's 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 catalonian, catalonian. you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so, primary like his, yeah, yeah all of his stuff is in barcelona yeah. all of his you know uh historical you know architectural landmarks and stuff so cool all right guys i guess that's it yeah i mean it's fine because the first show was like almost an hour Oh yeah. So this one be in fifteen, twenty minutes or whatever it turned out, that's fine. We can you know, like I said, all shows don't have to be an hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It don't have to be super, super long. Anyway, guys, so yeah, I hope you guys got some good info. You know, that's three different episodes we've done on uh on Barcelona and Catalonia and Spain. You can listen to all three of them and, and again if you have a chance to go check it all out. Don't worry about the crime and stuff you read on on TripAdvisor and all that kind of stuff. It's you know just just watch out for the for the pickpockets 
which I didn't, even, which I didn't see any, but I know it's go, it goes on and stuff like that. I've read stuff online, but just go and enjoy it. Enjoy the food. Check out all the stuff from from uh, Gaudi. Do the hop on, hop off, the green, blue, and red uh, lines on all those tours, and just have some fun and enjoy it. So I hope yeah. this was a good uh, three podcasts we did for you guys over the past few weeks on Barcelona and Spain and Madrid and all that good stuff. I didn't even talk about Madrid, did I? Maybe I'll talk about Madrid. Yeah, I mean, you just you know, mentioned it real quick. Yeah, I just mentioned. I didn't do the history of it and all mm-hmm. that. It was just, it was just very, very nice. It reminded me of Beverly Hills. But you guys can, <laughs> you guys can check that out when you get a chance. So yeah, it's Stays PR Chronicles with Chico and Smith. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, ISNT Group Digital. And thanks again for all of our listeners on all the streaming platforms. I'm going to be working on get, getting us on iHeartRadio soon. Nice. And I'm going to uh, let you guys cool. know know about that. So peace out. Peace. And enjoy your first week of October. Halloween yeah. is coming up coming soon. Coming up. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a Halloween episode. There we go. Or something Halloween. Like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'll be cool. We'll see Hallows where it started, night. How, it, how the holidays started and all that good stuff. Anyway, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace. It's, peace. it's the HPR Chronicles with Shaquan Smith. All right.